Kauteng residents are bracing for hailstorms today after parts of the province experienced thunderstorms for much of yesterday evening. The South African Weather Service says the storms are expected in the south of Kauteng and to extend to the northern parts of the province from the afternoon into tonight. Joining us now for more on this is uh, Priscilla Mufukeng, who's a senior forecaster with the South African Weather Service. He's live with us now via our telephone line. And, uh, and Dr. Mufukeng, thanks very much indeed for always making time. Perhaps let's begin by just understanding the system that is currently hovering over Gauteng, for lack of a better term, what is causing these heavy rains and how uh, long do we expect them to last? Well, uh, good morning, um, Ayanda, and good morning to uh, the viewers as well. I don't want to answer that, answer that question. It's, it's going to provoke my scientific background, and at the same time, <laughs> I'm not going to make sense. <laughs> But uh, the, the, the issue is that yesterday we had uh, quite an unstable conditions, uh, very, very unstable conditions over the northwest, uh, Gauteng and uh, Pumalanga. That is why we had uh, those extreme thunderstorms. Although in Gauteng, uh, the main thing that we experienced was the, uh, the small amounts of, of, of hail. So it wasn't necessarily anything big, anything that much. But in the northwest, we had quite a huge storm uh, yesterday afternoon into the early evening, and that also includes uh, some areas in the eastern Pumalanga, Ekanzeni, uh, um, Gomasi municipality. That's where we had uh, some uh, thunderstorms. However, today we are expecting a bit of a change. I've just studied the um, instability conditions. It's, it's less unstable as compared to yesterday. So we're still uh, going ahead with the possibility of isolated thunderstorms over the central areas, that is, Free State and the Northwest including parts of the Eastern Cape and Cosmo Natal, but here in Gauteng uh, and uh, the Eastern parts of Cosmo Natal, including the escarpment areas, uh, we are expecting a 60% chance of uh, showers and thunder showers. That will include Pumalanga and Limpopo. But uh, over and above the possibility of uh, thunderstorms that we are indicating, there's also the risk for severe thunderstorms, especially over Cosmo Natal um, uh, Midlands, as well as uh, the escarpment areas like uh, uh, Newcastle, uh, Lady Smith, uh, Berkeville, those are the areas that could see extreme thunderstorms, including fire hate, um, and, um, those, those areas. Uh, that will also include uh, areas like Mkondo in Mpumalanga, uh, uh, Albert Lutuli municipality, including uh, around Leningberg um, and southern um, Mpopo. However, those in southern Mpopo and uh, uh, northern Pumalanga are actually lower in terms of the chance. The chance is more to the south in Konto and in, in Trinidad. That's where we're expecting quite extreme uh, thunderstorms later on today. But as of now, there isn't anything happening. Right. Help us understand, uh, Priscilla, if you can, whether any of what's happening is actually exceptional. I mean, typically we know that in parts of Gauteng, a lot of the rain is expected around the summer times. But when you go through the storms, to be poetic, uh, you sometimes lose perspective. Is, is any of this anything to worry about? Of course, we have to worry about uh, storms when they become severe, but the ordinary storms, obviously, that's what is happening. Any storm, whether it's 10 years ago or now, we still have to worry. I'm saying even 10 years, we still have to worry. Remember that uh, on the 28th of uh, November 20, uh, 2013, there was an extreme thunderstorm that ran through Houting, uh, in, an, mm. in an hour, uh, there was about damage of 1.6 billion that was lost to, uh, to the insurance uh, uh, insurance companies. So um, we have to be worried about the thunderstorms. They quite they cause quite the damage, uh, but it's not only in the cities where it is important. Remember that it is summer season. Uh, remember that uh, there's a lot of uh, um, plantation that is uh, on the ground at the moment. And uh, once we have storms, even if they're not happening in the city, uh, when they are severe, they tend to damage even the, the food that is actually going to be useful for us in future. So the damage uh, may not only be limited to the people or to the property, but also uh, to the farms. Uh, there could be extreme uh, uh, damage. So in that case, we have to be worried. But it should not be a worry that say that there is no life going forward. We have to... Uh, look forward uh, in, in, in a way of uh, uh, minimizing such kind of impacts. For instance, I'm do, I do see that uh, uh, a number of uh, farms are actually uh, converting from direct farming, that is on the ground, 
they are also doing a bit of covering. So that is that could also be useful, especially to, to prevent uh, things like hailstorm. But in terms of uh, strong winds like tornado, I don't think that is preventable at all. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, I wonder whether it's a bit too soon for Selita to speak about what we can expect on Christmas Day, given that tomorrow is the 1st of December. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that is quite a yeah. it's, it's not It's not possible scientifically. Uh, but what I can point out is um, uh, for the next few days, we are going to see an upper wave starting from tomorrow, uh, developing quite strongly off the West Coast. And uh, it may actually uh, uh, lead to the second thunderstorms to be limited in the Northern Cape, uh, the western parts of the, uh, the, the, the Northwest and, and the Free State. And that will be a case for, um, I think, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, those are the areas that we are actually going to be looking at the uh, possibility of severe thunderstorms to the west of uh, uh, Houghton. That is to the west of the country. That's where we're going to focus on severe thunderstorms. But as of that far, it is not possible. I don't think there's any model that is pointing out, uh, particularly on, on a Christmas day. What we can actually say as the South African other say is that, uh, yes, as we move forward into the uh, mid-summer like we are now, uh, we can expect uh, the chance of rainfall to increase. President Mufukeng, thanks very much indeed for speaking to us. Really appreciate your time here on the AM Report. President Mufukeng is a senior forecaster with the South African Weather Service.